sensation, environment, culture, heroes, mentors, nature. All are lottery tickets for creativity. Scratch one of them and you'll find out how big a prize you won. While a third. First, we have a happily ever after. Oh, it's the. So, this. Alright, I think this is the Jane Austen tote bag with art from artist, whatever. Holographic images. So, it's just a little tote bag. Alright, this is a gourmet marshmallow treat by Best Made Company. Looks good. Get taken a bit. Mmm, tastes good. All right, this is exclusive book boyfriend candle. It says it's chocolate. Smell it. All these candles are real glittery. Now we have some premium hot cocoa mix. Excited for this. This is an enamel pin. Okay, this is the happily ever after book inspired book sleeve. Next we have some um, tea, I don't see it here, yeah, it's black tea with candy, calendula, safflower, sunflower petals, and natural flavors. Next we have the note which says, Dear Magical Read Subscriber, I was just like Tessa as a teenager, scared to share my writing with others, terrified that the love stories I wanted to tell weren't important enough, and, you know, I've only made so much progress since then. So, you can imagine how anxious I am right now that Happily Ever Afters is in your hands, and you're going to read it. But, I'm equally great, so grateful that I get to share this story with you. I hope that Tessa's journey in the book shows you that you deserve to take up space and make art that brings you joy. I hope you love Tessa's world, believing that everyone deserves a great love story. Ellie. Okay, so this is a sticker signed by the author. And last but not least, we have Happily Ever Afters. 16-year-old Tessa Johnson has never felt like the protagonist in her own life. She's rarely seen herself reflected in the pages of romance novels she loves. The only place she's a true leading lady is in her own writing. When Tessa is accepted into the writing program of a pre prestigious art school, she's excited to finally let her story shine. But when she goes to her first workshop, the words are gone. Fortunately, Caroline has a solution. Tessa just needs to find some inspiration in a real-life love story of her own. 
and she's ready with a list of romance novel inspired steps to a happily ever after. Nico, the brooding artist who looks like he walked out of one of Tessa's stories, is cast as the perfect Prince Charming. But as Tessa checks off each item on the list, she gets further away from herself. She risks losing everything she cares about, including the surprising bond she develops with Sweet Sam, who lives across the suite, sh across the street. She's on her way to having her own real life story, but is it the one she wants after all? All right, guys, this was February's box because it is love themed. I'm guessing. So that's what this one is. On to the next. Never mind, this is February. Tea infuser ball for steeping loose leaf teas. Maybe mom will use it someday. Next we have an exfoliating shower scrub rich in coffee and coconut oil from Stars Hollow by Mad Alchemist, Alchemist Company. That feels weird. Smells like coffee. Next we have an eco-friendly bath loofah pairs perfectly with the coffee scrub. Next we have an art print, isn't that what a poem is? A lantern glowing in the dark by Elizabeth Acevedo. Next we have Spato S'mores British Tea. I don't know if this is black tea or not. Can we try it? It's s'mores, so. This is the note from Walter. This is the first one that's been typed. The others are handwritten and printed, I think. Anywho. Dear reader, I love a good story. The messiness of it. All the highs and lows. I love seeing how characters bring out the best in each other. How once love enters a person's life, everything changes. The love I'm referring to isn't just the romantic kind. I'm talking about the complicated love we have for our families, for our friends, for our communities. I believe that to truly love a person or place is not only to cherish the best parts, but to also critic the parts that need a little fixing. With every book I write, the characters teach me something. Nala reminded me that everyone needs someone to lean on and learn from. She has her grandmother, and some of my favorite moments in the book are when the two of them are spending time together. I didn't intend for the grandmother to play such a crucial role, but as the story developed, I realized that Nala's love of family is an anchor that keeps her grounded and teaches her how to be honest, how to forgive, and how to love. Nala's grandmother tells her, the most radical thing you can do is love yourself and each other. I am trying to live by these words. I am reminding myself that what matters most is not the performative public ways we express love or activism, but how we show up for ourselves and our loved ones every day in simple ways. After all, being able to practice patience, grace, forgiveness, and kindness to yourself and those closest to you might be the most radical thing a person can do. I hope you enjoy Nala's love story and that you start your own radical revolutions in small and big, big ways. Sincerely, Rini Watson. Alright, this is the signature. All the others have been with the sticker thing wherever it went, but this one's different. It's still a sticker. You can peel off the back, but... Next we have a bookmark that says, Spoiler warning, love is worth everything. Everything. Next, we have a hydrating light moisturizer. It says, I made of 62% less plastic. It's by Sensitive Skin Experts. It's kind to skin. Next, we have Love is a Revolution. When Nala Robertson reluctantly agrees to attend an open mic night for her cousin, sister, friend, 
Emily's birthday, she finds herself falling in instant love with Ty Brown, the MC. He's perfect, except Ty is an activist and is spending the summer putting on events for the community when Nala would rather watch movies and try out the new seasonal flavors at the local creamery. Alright guys, so this is where I'm going to leave you, but before you go, like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit the notification bell. Bye guys!